Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's talk about benzene. When I hear the term benzene, it reminds me of when I was a little kid. When we were driving cars, well, we didn't have a car. My grandfather had a car and we wouldn't go tank up. He always talked about, we're going to put some benzene in the car. Well, here it is. I don't think that's what it was that we're putting into the tank, but at least there was some association with the hydrocarbons, of course, that are in gasoline. Benzene actually is an interesting molecule. It looks a lot like cyclohexane, except there's three double bonds as well as the three single bonds. Because of that, each carbon atom could only have a single hydrogen associated with it or attached to it. In other words, it is not saturated. And so when we have a structure like this, we call it benzene. The chemical formula is C6H6, which means there's just as many hydrogen atoms as there are carbon atoms. An easy way to draw benzene is simply draw a hexagon like this with a circle inside and this indicates that it's the benzene molecule which of course is a lot easier to draw like that. Benzene, and I need an E behind it, there we go, benzene is the identifying part of an aromatic molecule. Wow, I'm writing all kinds of mistakes here, my spelling, there we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, I can. There, that's wrong to benzene. There we go. I think I got most of it correct now on the board. But again, to say that benzene is what, what is the identifying part of an aromatic molecule. Remember, that was different from the alkanes, the alkenes, and the alkynes, which did not have that as a structure or a substructure of the molecules. So whenever you see something like this in a molecule, you think of it as an aromatic molecule. Now it turns out that benzene can also act as a functional group, like this. We, we sort of take out one hydrogen, so a benzene with one hydrogen removed is a functional group called phenyl, and it can be associated with something like this. Now here we have propane, because there's three carbons, and if we add a phenyl to it, we now can call this molecule, and since it's connected to the second carbon, we call that two phenol, and because there's three carbons, we call it propane. So this molecule here is called three, oops, I should say two phenol propane because we have the phenol functional group attached to the second carbon in the carbon chain of three, which therefore is a propane molecule. And so that's how we then associate the functional group phenol to hydrocarbon molecule like this. And of course, it's the basis of that is the benzene molecule or the benzene ring, as they some, sometimes call it, which is structured just like that. And you'll find out that this ring, this benzene molecule, and this benzene functional group, it's called phenyl, will appear in many, many different hydrocarbon molecules. And we'll learn all about it as well.